welcome and welcome back to GrowMed. This channel is a one-stop guide for the FMG aspirants and you can find here everything you need for the FMGE. And this is a session of the one-liners and already I have uploaded a, a one-liners of the other subjects. You can have a look of them on my Telegram channel. The link will be given in the description box as well. So without wasting much time, let's uh, get started. We'll discuss the important one-liners asked in the past years in the exam. So it will be a quick video uh, of some 10 8 to 10 minutes and you can watch it in your free time or break time so the first question oil drop cataract a must 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 do topic and this oil drop cataract is seen uh, classically in this uh, disease called a scalectosemia so this scalectosemia is a favorite topic of the fmg examiners and you can surely expect one question from this one in the exam so they can give the image also of the oil drop cataract and for the images uh, there's already the up video uploaded so you can have a look of uh, it there so oil drop cataract classical feature of galactosemia then second uh, question so most common intraocular tumor in adult it is the choroidal melanoma then kf ring is uh, due to the deposition of the iron so uh, sorry sorry glacier ring not the glacier flasher ring kf ring is different this glacier ring is different this one is due to the deposition of the iron in the eye so they you can see this finding then dye used to stain the anterior chamber of the eye it is the tryptan blue tryptan is sorry tripan blue okay so the staining of this uh, uh, the stains used to stain the various parts of the eye this is also an important topic then uh, bitemporal hemianopia indicates that the lesion is at the optic chiasma or in other words if you say it can be present at the pituitary because uh, pituitary adenoma or the tumor is uh, located right uh, exactly at this optic chiasma and whichever is given in the option you need to choose it so a case can also be described that a patient has a pituitary tumor and uh, which kind of visual lesion can be seen in the patient so it is by temporal hemianopia the next question so inward rolling of the eyelid uh, margin is known as entropion so image based question also have been frequently asked on this entropion extropion okay so have a look at this also and the image based question is being discussed so images important images of the ophthalmology the link is given in the description box Biconcave lens are used in the treatment of myopia. Okay, so myopia and hypermetropia, which kind of lenses are used? That is also important one. Then a patient comes with paralysis of all the extraocular muscles. What will be the site of the lesion? See, the site of the lesion will be the midbrain because all these uh, uh, nerves, that is the cranial nerve 3, 4 and 6, these are the cranial nerves which will be mainly supplying the Eye. so controlling this extraocular muscle so all these three originate from the midbrain so whenever this lesion in the midbrain you can see this paralysis of all the extraocular muscles then drug that is contraindicated in the corneal ulcer it is the steroid and why it is contraindicated is because it causes perforation okay so to avoid that one we will be using uh, not using this steroids in case of the corneal ulcers then corneal transparency is maintained by the structure called as the keratin sulfate keratin sulfate and this is a kind of a glycosaminoglycan so, PHAT sulfate glycosaminoglycan then management of choice for the chronic dacrocystitis is the dacrocystorhinostomy uh, okay so yes this is also an important one chronic dacrocystitis and the management depends on the age actually of the person like if it is less then you'll be doing the symptomatic relief and after the child will be uh, grown up then you'll be doing this dcr but the management of mainstream of treatment is this dcr then most common uh, in part in jordan orbital blow out fracture is the floor of the orbit or can be also called as the inferior wall of the orbit why because uh, like this is the face this is the eyes like uh, for example and here you have the sinus so the uh, plate the bone between the sinus uh, the sinus is empty okay so there's not much uh, 
uh, support to that due to which whenever there is a uh, uh, blood fracture this will be damaged and causing the uh, damage to the uh, inferior wall or the floor okay i hope you have understood that then most common malignant eyelid tumor is the basal cell carcinoma so malignant eyelid tumor do look at the words there what they are asking whether it is eyelid or uh, inside the eye intraocular or all these things then laser used in the management of after cataracts it is the nd yag laser repeated multiple times this question and questions are already asked on these uh, lasers like type of the lasers and which kind of laser you use in what kind of disease penetrating injury to ciliary body causes which disease so it causes sim uh, sympathetic ophthalmitis okay so symptomatic ophthalmitis means that it is a kind of pan uveitis and all the layers of the uvea will be uh, involved in this causing the inflammation of the uh, uvea okay so uvea in the sense like all the uh, eye iritis uvea and all those uh, structures of the i then a uh, single drug used for the treatment of the trachoma so this is also a famous question trachoma and is is the azithromycin so single dose of azithromycin will be used for the trachoma and trachoma again a repeat topic then most common cause of conjunctivitis it is the staph aureus then structure with maximum refractive power it is the anterior corneal surface which will be providing this maximum refractive power then shimmer's test this test is done for what disease so it is done for the dry eyes and if you are able to recall it it will be like uh, in the eyes we will be putting a paper here and calculating the uh, a uh, centimeter uh, the mm like uh, the wet paper like in uh, what time how much mm of paper is wet and by that we can uh, come to the conclusion of this uh, dry eyes so she must test image based question is also asked so important then treatment of choice for the paralytic squint so it is the surgery you need to uh, do the what a uh, enucleation and not enucleation like a uh, recession and resection of the muscle and then you can uh, treat this paralytic squint so the last question for this today's session most common cause of keratoconjunctivitis in contact lens where keratoconjunctivitis and this contact lens question is repeated almost every year so this i think expecting that you can get this question in the upcoming exam also so it is the acanthamoeba so this acanthamoeba keratitis this one is the favorite favorite question of the examiner so whenever you see these things like a patient is having some inf uh, infection contact lens wear what will be the cause acanthamoeba straight away directly without thinking mark the answer as the acanthamoeba okay so yes uh, these were some important one liners asked in the past years and expecting that at least two or three will be coming from this one and already i have uploaded videos on the 10 most important topics which you must cover for the ophthalmology then other one liners images so all the things i will give in the description box to look at those videos also watch those videos and note down all the important points thank you so much for watching this video and uh, for more amazing things subscribe to gromed and uh, the telegram link is given in the description box so you can uh, join my telegram channel also so thank you so much guys once again i am dr padmini your mentor for the fmg and if you have any queries anything related to the fmg you can feel free to dm me thank you so much once again bye bye and all the best for the exam